What's going on, handsome? <laughs> That's how you do it. What's going on? What's good, YouTube family? This is I Smoke Hip Hop Nation, and you're watching Beyond the Bars. Um, the video clip I'm about to show you guys is a video I was watching earlier today on Black News 102 with um, Sonetta TV. And Sonetta TV is walking through Harlem and he spots one no other than Loaded Lux on the corner hanging out. And it's like, you know, there's been rumors over the years that Loaded Lux got a lot of shady past or whatnot. I'm not somebody who like to jump into that. I mean, at Beyond Bars, we're not really gonna be very too much judgmental on things like that. Real life hits everybody. I mean, there's been battle bars regarding his baby mothers being the one to hold him down or something like that. We don't know if these aspirations are true or not. But we do know there's been a lot of things shady going on about Loaded Lux from peers of his. And notice I'm seeing peers, so I'm not just seeing friends or anything like that. And I remember this guy right here, um, his manager, Sutek. But let's check a video of, on that um, video clip. Uh, the seeker more confused. Man. Sorry, man. Sorry, man. You all right? What's going on, handsome? <laughs> That's how you do it. What's going on, handsome? All right, my man. All right. <laughs> my man Lotus is in a, in a private conversation right now. That's his word. What's going on, handsome? You know? I got one more. Aces click fastest way to Harlem is they train. Slick, well, it's actually that FDR, but you wouldn't know because you don't have a car. <laughs> Yeah, like I was saying, man, um, a few years ago on Forbes DVD on Dim uh, Doggy Diamond's interview, I remember Sutek from the HOK House of Conscious community um, aired. Money that he ever made in his life. Mm. But the battle with Howard and Don, I negotiated that deal. You know, people say, oh, Lux got 40000 for that deal, 40000 for that deal. Nah, I negotiated that deal, and Lux got 80000 for that deal. Wow. I was the one who recommended Mook for that guy. They wanted to put somebody else in. We negotiated the deal, and it was set. Can you disclose that amount with Mook? And I talked to Hollow after the Hollow Lux battle. I said, you know what, brother? And this was when me and Lux had already split up. I said, I think Lux won the battle, but everything you said about that man was true. Mm -hmm. I got one more. Aces click fastest way to Harlem is they train slick. Well, it's actually that FDR, but you wouldn't know because you don't have a car. And I'd be like, yeah, you know, and that's a shame that that's the first thing people think the problem is that black men can't get together and deal with money in a rational, honest fashion. You know, if 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 a man doesn't have his integrity. Or you can't go on a man's word, then what is that person? Kid. What's going on, handsome? <laughs> That's how you do it. What's going on? He aired Loaded Lux out on these issues regarding um, failed pay payments and shit like that. That's well into the thousands, and he promised, um, promised lit litigation um, activities after that, and we couldn't even see anything. As you just seen that video clip, I mean, I'm feeling some type of way because it's like, as an elder in the community, you're not really supposed to give your business financial situations between you and a party that you had an agreement with. That just shows, no offense, kind of bad business. And if I was to pick a manager, I don't think I would pick you, man. Think about it, man. The fact that you couldn't give a proper contract between third parties to make sure there can be any, um, whenever there's any speculations, you can properly go to the courts and 
anything will be in your favor. But the fact that you couldn't even lock that down shows poor business skills. Other than that, if you guys don't know who Sutek is and Sarnetta from Black, Black News 102, these men are actually prominent in the streets. I'm going to give credit where credit is due. They actually do the work of attacking and addressing issues that, that are in the quote-unquote black community, especially down in Harlem. I've seen Sarnetta attack the lights of policemen, newsmen, battlers, debaters, all, all sorts of others. So for him to go towards Loaded Lux like that, I don't know if it was to try to put him on blast for his friend Sutek and is regarding that issue because you know the house of conscious community or, or people who actually stick together. Uh, yo, what's up, my brother? Yeah, man. I told him. You thought I was playing, I told him. I said I got the cash card. Well, anyway, I want the only one I can beat in here is Lux, so I'm a killer to Lux. Wow. I'm a ride with Sunday. I'm talking about Oh, man. Oh, he ain't gonna be able to beat my teacher. He's playing my teacher right now. He talking shit to Loaded Lux. Okay, what you want? Like, man? Come on, man. Why I gotta be all that though? I mean, man, what's going what's on, baby? What's up? What's going on, man? What's up? Can't fuck with friends? Huh? Look at me, man. man. Brother, we waiting on you all, all day. Bezo, did you call me? What's going on, handsome? <laughs> That's how you do it. What's going on? Yeah, man. And I mean, I was concerned the fact that Loaded Lux few years ago, he associated himself with the brother they call Polite. I'm still a young black man running, you know? Mm -hmm. You feel me? Mm -hmm. A lot of elders in the conscious community, when you think about the elders, it's usually the, 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 the diamonds, you already grayed out, sitting back OG, and he just, you know, you got a lot of, you know, OGs in the conscious community. I think Polite, man, he really come from that background. Like, you know, you get a lot of conscious teachers, you know what I'm saying? That's what they do, that's what they did. They sit up in the, you know what I'm saying? You know, for like background, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, used to bang, you know what I'm saying? Like, they had Crip Superior, you know what I mean? Done did streets, all of that, you know what I'm saying? saying? Now he switched it up. And I, it, that needs to be seen. You know, to, to show dudes from the set, like, yo, man, your mind, apply that, man. That changes your reality. You understand me? And to see somebody who comes right from where you from and them transition at the height that he is. And I'm not just talking, you know what I'm saying, status. I'm talking spiritually. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? He's evolved and doing it. Regiment. Like, you know what I mean? You got to respect that. Picture, the evidence is right here in our face. You really the lost nigga. Let me tell you. I... And Brother Polite is a guy that I have I have on and off respect for because there's been a lot of shady things uh, I've been hearing about him and actually seen. And I have a couple of acquaintances of mine back in 2012. Um, they ventured on and, and gave, I think it was like $4,200 um, to um, Polite in the new House of Covenant. And they never were given any type of um, answers as to what happened to the money they invested into it. What's going on, handsome? <laughs> That's how you do it. What's going on? Nice car. I'm one. We have to get that correct. 
Shalom, brothers and sisters. First and foremost, I want to give all the praises, all the honor, all the glorification goes to your house. This is not a personal attack, meaning we're not going to do the YouTube mudslinging back and forth and all of this crazy. That's not, you're going to get informed of a date. You're going to show up on that date. There's going to be a tribunal of elders. They're going to deal with the case. Like we said, we are the ones, we're the spokesmen for the community that is just going to inform the community and you at the same time as to what it is right now. So this is not, we're not out here debating you. We're not challenging you to a debate. None of these things. We don't want to hear any of that talk that people that I've been hearing on YouTube that is, is so frequently being flown around where people are talking that stick talking. All. No, that's not what this is. This is your brothers who are protected by the community, who are a part of the community stepping out and saying, Brother Polite is coming to an end right now at this moment it ends now okay until we figure this shit out until we clear it out this is what it's man sorry man you all right what's going on handsome <laughs> that's how you do it what's going on handsome all right man. all right <laughs> My man Lotus is in a, in a private conversation right now. That's his word. What's going on, handsome? Yeah. But damn, it almost escaped my sight. Word around Harlem, he joined a nation of radical Israelites. And you study under Brother Polite, and you're supposed to promote the struggle, the fight, but something that. into them so the fact that there's and that's just one percent of of the people of the percentage the total percentage of what i'm talking about man it's been a lot of shit going on with um this guy polite so the fact that loaded luck has been associated with him you've been seeing this on and off career because these lackluster performances although they're good battles but lackluster being that from the type of hype and atmosphere when he came out of retirement for the calico battle or even the hollow world well, the hollow the dawn as well because i'm seeing a lot of people although i think Loaded what you told hollow was slick but here's the message i'm leaving a nigga that's crawling can't never criticize a nigga that's leaning i say yo Against Calico, we was loving it. But now though, I think I speak for me and a whole list of others when I tell you we done got sick and tired of your mumbling. We in a situation perpetuated and delegated by the mothership and all this other shit. <laughs> if you ever had a conversation with this guy, he reminds you of them fake and lightning niggas that be trying to vent like, as a black brother, we can't follow the white man's motto. No, we cannot wallow in our sorrows. We must cut through it like Zorro. We must hold our heads high. For we come from the essence of the Apollo. You look at him like, huh? He lean over like, what I'm really trying to say is you got $5 I could borrow. Hey, let me give him some real talk now. First you impersonate a preacher, then a Black Panther slash part-time Israelite. And now you come dressed up as LL Fool J tonight. Picture, the evidence is right here in our face. You really the lost nigga. Let me tell you. I think Loaded Lux won, but a lot of people are claiming that Hollow the Dawn beat you. But the fact that Arsenal just recently without the, no debating beat you and murder mook beating you the fact that this goat status people are giving you now if we're looking at goat status as the first to do this number wise this and that then i can give you that but goat status as a battler i gotta look into that my nigga man there's, there's been a lot of questionable situations man look at these clips Man, you guys tell me what you guys think, man, about this video, man. We'll be bringing you more Beyond the Bars, man. Just a little segment right now. 
please subscribe leave your likes comments even if you disagree with this video please explain why in the comment section if you want to cuss me out leave it in the comment section if you have any disparaging views upon my videos wherever i'm making leave it in the comment section or email me at i smoke hip hop at gmail.com or send me a twitter or a dm at i smoke at i smoke hip hop man just or you can find me on facebook at i smoke hip hop man stay blessed one love as always i'm your guy bless one you're watching another episode of beyond the bars episode one I got one more. Aces click fast. It's the way to Harlem is they train slick. Well, it's actually that FDR, but you wouldn't know because you don't have a car. Thank you.